Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. There are again few more updates related to Tejas MK1 delivery. As usual, we will quickly recap what has already been delivered and then move on to the current update. As we all know that the government has already ordered 40 Tejas variants in initial and final operational clearance configuration which are in process. It includes 32 Tejas MK1 single-seater fighter jet and 8 twin-seater LCA trainer. Out of 32 Tejas MK1, 22 fighters have already been delivered. Last year, HL has delivered 6 FOC aircraft SP-21 to SP-26. The Indian Air Force at present has two squadrons of LCA Tejas MK1. The first one is called Flying Daggers which has 16 Tejas of initial operational clearance or IOC variant from LA 5001 to LA 5016. The second squadron is called Flying Bullets which are operating 6 stages of final operational clearance or FOC variant. Now there are updates related to 8 more FOC Tejas MK1. The SP-27 and SP-28 Tejas are undergoing flight testing and will be soon delivered to Indian Air Force. The SP-29 and SP-30 are in the final stages of production. The four more Tejas are under various stages of equipping activities. The last two Tejas MK1 which are part of initial order will enter into the production after the previous one have gone through various stages of trial. Once this is delivered, it will complete the delivery of 10 pending Tejas MK1 fighter jet. Then what remains is 8 LCA trainer. Indian Air Force has also ordered for 10 more trainers as a part of 83 Tejas MK1A this year. The one point we noted here that these 18 trainers are all going to be of FOC version. Some of our viewers also had questions regarding the difference between FOC and IOC version of Tejas MK1. The most visible difference between them is the refueling probe. The FOC standard of this MK1 comes up with aerial refueling probe compatible with both NATO and Russian tankers that will allow flights of over 8 hours. Apart from that, there is an additional 725 liters center line drop tank with pressurized refueling in the FOC Tejas. There is also an improvement over existing 1200 and 800 liters external fuel tanks that come with the Tejas MK1 IOC variants. The FOC Tejas is also cleared for 28 degree angle of attack and plus 9 G limit with capability to fire Derby BVR missile, Python 5 close combat missile and a GSH-23 twin barrel gun. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.